fear is the biggest way to not make money. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Chad back with another video. All right, you guys already read the thumbnail. You read the title. This right here is about being direct, being up front, and just don't be leading people on, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to get straight to the video. But before we do that, man, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload new content, man. We almost had a thousand subscribers. Let's get it, man. Y'all know the content's good. But seriously, though, let's let's get to it. Um, people need to be damn direct, man. Straight up. You got people out here playing games with people. You got hurt people out here hurting people. And we just got a whole bunch of mess going on. You know what I'm saying? But I came across this video, man. Um, and let's see. We get this pulled up here. Came across... Eight at the table, man. Eight at the table. Uh, they they have some real good content, man. If you ain't following them, if you ain't subscribed to them, make sure to go check them out. But um, they was having the conversation about how you know you meet a female, a guy meet a guy meets a female or whatever, and he would you know the guy would rather for her to be up front. And just lay it out on the table that she she's promiscuous and out there in them streets and not just to play games. But we're going to watch some of the video and then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to share my thoughts as we go on. This is Mano right here. He's like an artist and whatnot. But let's let's get into the video. The the freedom and opportunity to say, no, nah, I ain't with that or it is what it is. Right. When I don't know. Is when it's a a, a a harder fall from the building. It's like, I just found out you was doing, I didn't even, who are you? I didn't right. know this. Who, who, are, who are you? Who are you? Like, I didn't know. Like, you find it. See, that's worse. When yeah. you find out, when, you, when you're when into somebody and then you find out later on that they was doing a lot of different things and you find out that she had friendly <laughs> and you find out that she was just very, you know, very, you know, just very mixy in this kind of way. And then when you get to the, you just like, but oh, to wow. be fair, does everyone have to disclose what what they've gone through in the past? Or yes, y'all comment down below. Let me know what you think. But yes, I think you need to disclose that information. And here's why: if you go on a job interview, right, and let's say you're the CEO of the company, right. Not you going on a job interview, but you interviewing people, right? Candidates coming in. And you have somebody come in and you look at their resume and they've been at like 30 jobs in the last five years, right? Just hopping around this job, that job, this job, that job. You're going to look at them sideways. You're going to be like, yo, what, what's going on here, John? Well, you know, Susan, wh why you been moving around so much? Well, I didn't like how this boss was. It was always somebody else's fault. You're going to be less likely to hire that person, right? Now, you got another candidate come in, and this candidate's been solid, been at one job for like 12 years, right? And the only reason they're looking to change jobs because they need to be closer to home because they got a, a, a parent or something or a loved one that's ill that, that they have to help deal with or whatever the case may be. You're going to look at that person with more, with more positive attitude. You're going to be like, okay. This person is solid. They're loyal. They stay with the company. It's just going to be a better look. That's the same thing in the dating world. You know what I'm saying? If you got this long list, this high body count, and you ain't being upfront about it, you're giving me misconceptions. You know, I have I got this a false reality in my head of who you are. And now here I am. I don't feel in love with you. We don't develop a relationship. Sometimes hell, people don't got married and had some kids, and now all of a sudden. I'm finding out that you really blown to the streets. Stop that ain't the no cap. Way to be. Stop the cap. So let's continue on, man. Just my thoughts. Persons that they slept with. You don't have to run down the list, but I, I mean, just be, be, be realistic, right? And, and just, you don't have to say, look, I f 25 niggas. Right, you don't have to say that, but you know who you are is going to come out, whether it come out earlier or come out later on. Right? He's absolutely one thousand percent right. 
the, hey, let me tell y'all something, man. The light is always going to shine through the darkness. Every time. <laughs> what you do in the dark, what you do in the dark is going to come to the light eventually. You dig what I'm saying? So you ain't got to say, you know, be all detail about, yeah, I've been with a hundred dudes, but just be, you know, up front. Hey, you know what? I've, you know, I've made some mistakes. I've been out. I've been doing some things, you know, I've been wilding out or whatever, you know, just be up front. Let's continue on. So don't portray something that you're not. See, I tell you what, I tell you what it is. I'm, I've, I've done it. If you think I did it, I probably did. Um, so I'm telling you right now <laughs> what you're getting yourself into because it's pretty sh yeah, I might have done it. Is that because there's something to look forward to? Like, oh, like this person, I used to deal with them in the, pa um, in the past. So, you know, they might create a issue for us in our future. Mm -hmm. Or is it just like just being honest for no reason? Just mean, be honest. Hold on, time out. Honest for no reason? I'm, no, I'm just saying, because if I don't have to mention, like, this specific partner that I was with or this specific someone that I had sex with, like, why am I mentioning that? No, you don't have to mention specifically who. Right, right. You don't have to mention you. I, I knocked off. See, that's what, yeah. See, now she's trying to get to the point where, well, I don't, I shouldn't have to mention specifics. We're not talking about that. That's not, that's not what it's about. It's about... Don't be leading me on to believe that you're somebody that you're not. You give me a false impression of who you really are. I would much rather you show me who you really are up front. So that way, down the road, when things get a little bit heavier, I already know who I'm dealing with. So it's, it's not, you know what I'm saying? I can't fault you for me getting caught, all, caught, caught up. You dig what I'm saying? Because you was up front with me in the very beginning. So if this guy, that ball player, this rapper, you don't gotta go through all that. But I mean, if you if you was out here, you know, knocking guys off, you should say, you know, listen, I got a pass. You know, I. That's I, what I'm I, just I talking about. Shit. Cool. We all done some. Shit. Probably did more shit than you. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because <laughs> if you got more than me, I don't even want to. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even want to play with it. <laughs> I, th I think part of it is, and, and I, I totally agree with you, you have to be honest about it because you don't want your person going into a situation where everybody looking at them crazy, like, damn, he fucking right, with that hoe. Like, and, and you walking around like you got doodle on your head, on right. your face. And she's right. She's absolutely right. That's another thing. It's embarrassing, man. You know what I'm saying? I I can remember a time, no lie, y'all. I was dating this girl one time before. This is way before, I, you know, my long, I'm, before I was hitched. This is back in my day. But I was dating this girl, man. And uh, she she was out in the streets, man. She was out in the streets, for real. She belongs to the streets. And, you know what I'm saying? She had stuff going on with different dudes. I was, you know, not aware of what was going on, wasn't paying attention, didn't think it would happen to me. And we'll be out, man. And you can hear, my, you know, one of my homeboys was telling me, like, yeah, man, your girl's one of those, she's a freak, man. She's been sleeping around on you. And it's just, it's embarrassing, dog. It's really embarrassing. So be careful out here, man. Be Make sure to vet the people that you're seeing because, they, you know, they could just mess up your whole world, dog. It ain't a good look at all, at all. Let's continue on. And, and, you, and you don't know why. Right. Everybody looking at you crazy. Right. It's better yeah. when you walk in the room and you know you with a hoe. Exactly. So when everybody looking at you like, yo, you with that hoe. Yes. I feel okay. Hey, you can I sub <laughs> can I interject I again? Hoe. Because I think that that, that, that statement is a little subjective because no, I'm with the hoe. That is like, <laughs> do I do you see yourself as a hoe? That okay, I think that's that's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> I feel, Ooh, I feel like, <laughs> come on I, now. no, 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 I'm being serious. I'm, definition. I'm being, I'm being serious because I mean, maybe to people in the streets, it would be like, okay, well, I know she fucked this person, this person, this person. So in my head, she's a hoe, but to her, like she's had dealings with different people and that don't make her a hoe. That's just what her situation was. So why I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be telling you. Nah, B, nah, let me tell y'all something. Stop the cap. 
see a see a three or four dog. When girls getting ran through by multiple dudes, I'm telling you, man, that is a bad look. Nobody wants to be in a long term relationship with somebody that's been ran through. Your body count matters, right? The more people that you sleep with as a female, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow up big screen here. The more people that you sleep with, ladies, the less likely you are a good fit for a long-term relationship. At some point, that relationship that you're in is going to crash and burn because you've been with so many different dudes, you can't pair a bond with the with the guy. You, you know, it's hard for you to uh, to to lock in with one one person. You'll become bored. You'll be less. You won't be satisfied. Because you're so used to all this different toxic emotional stuff going on with different dudes, you know, different dudes running in and out of you. And that's just not a good look for a long term relationship that don't make a re relationship not going to work out that way. So it's just it's not, it's not a good look at all. You I'm going to lay everything out on the table if I feel like there was anything wrong with what I did or I see myself as then I'm going to say like, OK, I've had a past well, or so that probably missing. What was missing? That you just have not acknowledged who you really are. Yeah. Because if everybody knows you as a hoe, and you only know for being a hoe, <laughs> right. then you're a hoe. I'm Facts. You know, Facts. Y'all, yo, what I'm trying to say is a guy will be real quick to call a girl a hoe just because he knows two people that she slept with. It's never two. No, never two. It ain't two, man. Never <laughs> two. Trust me, it ain't two. <laughs> it ain't two. And I'm, listen, I'm, I'm the most whole friendly guy like i don't like i'm like a whole whisperer you. like i don't i don't i don't judge right i don't i don't i don't judge nobody but i mean just own who you are i think what the issue becomes is when you you trying to like fool me to make me believe that you something other than you not that's where the issue is at own who you are it's okay we all have things yep. in our in, you know in, in our lives that we may not be as proud of Things that we made mistakes on, things that listen. It, it, I want to take my dick back on a couple of women. Like, <laughs> I wish I never did that. Facts. Facts. How many? This is more than, I mean, more than a couple. Yeah. Yeah, it's a stack. <laughs> hey, hey, man, Mano makes a good point, man. Just, just own who you are, man. I think that that is the the main thing, the main key about this whole video. Uh, Y'all get the gist of what he's saying. Just own up to who you are. Don't let me let me explain something to you. This is what happens when you mislead somebody, right? You know you're not into that person. Like you know it's not gonna be a long term relationship. You know you don't have those deep feelings, that deep connection, that spark, that desire, that burning desire that you that you ultimately want in a partner. You know that. But the person that's in you doesn't know that. And if you're not up front with them, they're going to keep trying. And what's going to happen is you're going to become annoyed with them because they keep trying. It's going to it's gonna be getting on your nerves because you don't really feel them like that. And then on, on the whole other side of that, they are going to become frustrated and annoyed because you keep playing with their emotions instead of being up front with them. This is how people get end up getting hurt emotionally and sometimes physically. Now, I don't condone anybody putting their hands on anybody. Male putting their hands on a female, female putting their hands on a male. Don't do that. I don't condone that shit at all. You shouldn't be hitting each other, touching each other. But I'm telling you, when you out here playing games with somebody, that can lead to disaster. You have to be careful because I'm telling you, when you mess with somebody's mental mentals, it could really push them to the limit. Especially when a person is in love with you, you could really screw somebody up. And all that can be avoided if you just stop and just be upfront. Don't play the games. Stop playing the games. Because like I said a thousand times already, you could really damage somebody. And that's why we got so many people out here, man. You got hurt people out here hurting people over and over and over because they don't want to be up front because they like the benefits of what they receiving from the person that they know really likes them that really cares about them it's just some whack shit man but um that's the that's the gist of the video man i just want to share that with y'all make sure to check out eight at the table 
They got a real good uh, podcast going on over there. Shout out to them. Shout out to Mano. Uh, he's just spitting facts, man. But y'all comment down below, man. Let me know what y'all think. Don't you think it's right for somebody to just be up front? Just imagine a world if everybody had good intentions and just be up front. Hey, and this is something you could say. You know, you could be like, look, I enjoy rocking with you. I have a great time with you. We can do our thing, but I don't want to commit to anything. You know what I'm saying? I don't want anything serious right now. Matter of fact, when I step out your front door, when I go on my, on my way home, what I do with my time is my business. What you do in your time is your business. And when we get together, we have a good time. I ain't worried about what you're doing. You don't worry about what I'm doing. Just to be up front. And somebody that's in, that, that likes you and can and, and want to respect, you know, and respect that, they're going to rock with you. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't down for that, they want something more serious, they'll know to cut it off and move on. And then everybody will be good. It's real simple. It's real simple. So look, that's going to be it for this video, man. Make sure y'all hit the like button, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. We're going to be rocking out good content all year long. Talking about relationships. We're talking about life lessons, life hacks, and entertainment, man. All right, man. That's going to be it for this video. So we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Did you like it, though? Did you double time?